Bonjour friends, bonjour, bonjour, Cynthia here. Happy Monday. Bon dia, bonjour. I hope you all are doing well. My question to you today is, when was the last time someone asked you what you do for a living without tying it to your job or your career? Watch this video, watch this live, because that is what we are talking about today. Friends, earlier today, I went to have lunch at Nordstrom with a friend who I connected with about a year ago. We met at a private event that uh, Chanel was having, and it was an instant connection because here's what she asked me. Instead of asking me what I do for a living, she actually turned to me during the event and asked me, so what do you do for fun? Friends, that question was like a big relief to me. And it was a relief to me because that was the first time a woman asked me what I did for fun as opposed to uh, asking me what I did for a living. Follow me here. I think uh, better connections are made when you ask someone about their hobbies and their passions, as opposed to asking them what they do for a living. Tell me in the comments, when you meet someone, what is the first question you ask them? Do you ask them what they do for a living? Do you ask them where they work? <laughs> Let's talk about that today. Tell me in the comments. Yes, Jennifer, I see you here, hello. Hello, yes. Hi, Linda. Today we're talking about uh, connecting with people without asking them about their profession or without tying their, without tying their entire existence to what they do for a living. So what I was saying was I went to lunch today with a woman that I met last year around this time at a Chanel event, a private Chanel event we were both invited to. We met each other for the first time and while we were having our lunch and cocktails, she turned to me and she said, so what do you do for fun? And it started a connection and a wonderful friendship because I was like, finally, finally, I found someone, oh, and she just signed on. And I said to myself, finally, I've met someone who wants to talk about, who wants to find out about me and what I do as opposed, well, someone who wants to connect with me uh, through my passions and my hobbies, ex you know, rather than trying to find out what I do for a living. And the reason why I have that issue, my friends, I'm going to be very honest with you here, is because I find in today's society, in today's world, a lot of women, and it's okay to be ambitious because I'm very ambitious. But when, you know, someone would ask me what I do for a living or what, you know, what do I do for work? And I would say that I am a proud housewife. I manage my home. I take care of my husband and my family. They would sort of look down on that as if, you know, housewives or homemakers stay home and eat candy and watch um, soap operas and reality shows all day long. They don't feel as if uh, housewives and homemakers uh, actually um, is a profession. It is a career, right? We are very, very busy. As a matter of fact, most people who go to work, they get off at a certain time and they get to go home and do nothing else for that job or that career. But we, as housewives, we are on the clock 24-7, 24-7. So it is a very important job. And, you know, it takes me aback sometimes when someone would ask me what you do for a living and I say I'm a housewife or I'm a homemaker. And they're like, oh, like as if it's, it's not important. It is extremely important. So when this woman that I met at this event, a beautiful lady, by the way, and I'm going to post our lunch uh, meeting today, um, later on, when she turned to me and she said, so what do you do for fun? 
I was like, yes, I've met my tribe. I've met like-minded women. I am so happy. And come to find out, I told her that what I was doing at the time was actively competing in beauty pageants. And she revealed that she was taking a baking class. She was learning to make cakes and cookies and all that stuff. And so we connected and we became friends. Um, she supported my lipstick launch. She was one of the first people to um, support my business. And um, yeah, what is the person said? I agree. That question usually taught, makes people uncomfortable because you get judged. I usually ask the question, what brings you here? Oh, I like that. I like that. Thank you for sharing, Tilly. Tilly says she agree asking someone what they do for a living or where do they work um, is usually uncomfortable because you can be judged. She usually asks the question, what brings you here? I totally agree with that. I totally, totally agree. And I like that approach as well. When you are, uh, let me see what else we have here. So tell me in the comments, when you meet another woman, is your go-to question, so what do you do for work? What if she doesn't work? <laughs> I mean, what do you do for a living? If, why is that the, the opener for a conversation? There has to be other ways to initiate a conversation. There has to be another, um, other ways to initiate a connection as opposed to what do you do for work? Why are we defined by the work we do? Some people don't even like their jobs. So tell me in the comments what you think. How do you connect with people when you first meet them? What do you say? I also wanted to add that when my friend asked me that question, it made me realize how important it is to um, connect with someone through their passions and their hobbies um, instead, of at a, instead of their job, unless you are at a networking event. Okay, she said, Dorit says, I never ask these questions because every profession is honorable. Amen to that. Amen to that. Someone else says, no, I ask if she is happy being here today. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I mean, social, social graces is very important. You have to know how to, how to carry yourself when you're out in public. If you're at a networking event, if it's a business networking event and you're there to network with other professionals for your career or for your job, then I can understand asking someone, you know, what they do for a living or what company are they a part of. But if you're out at an event like where we were, we were at a private event that Chanel was having. They were launching their skincare line. And you know, to ask me what I do for a living, that has nothing to do with where we are. <laughs> and I am so glad that my friend, she didn't ask me that question. She asked me, so what do you do for fun? And I was so happy. If you just tuned in, someone else says, I always like to compliment them and tell them how wonderful we are to celebrate a good day. That's, yeah, I like that too. I like that approach. So tell me in the comments, what do you think? How do you spark a, a conversation? How do you begin a friendship when you meet someone for the first time? What is your go-to comment or question. Are you interested in what they do? Oh, so, okay, you introduce yourself. Are you interested in what they, you know, what they do as an extracurricular activity? <laughs> Hello, Lisa. Thank you for joining. I hope you all are having a good Monday. So my friend and I, yes, we've been friends for about a year now. And um, she's a lovely lady. She's a mother, a wife. 
She's a housewife as well, um, who's very active in her community. And she is, I'm not sure, I forgot to ask her if she's still taking her uh, baking and cookie making classes. I know you're on, let me know, send me a text. <laughs> I don't want to reveal who you are. So if you're still watching, Becky, let me know if you are still taking those classes. I started taking art classes in the summer. I was supposed to start the fall classes last Friday, but I decided not to because I have so much going on. I don't think I can um, take another class. We are talking about the way you connect with someone. Do you connect with people through their hobbies and passions, or it's always by what they do for a living. So my friend says she is still taking the baking classes. I am reading the comments. Now this is something to really think about. You, I mean, you. some people may think that it's not a big deal, but it was really a big deal for me because I meet a lot of women from all walks of life and you know the boss babes and the and the CEOs and the entrepreneurs it's like they don't seem to have respect for homemakers and housewives and we and our work you know is equally as important as what they do at their 9 to 5s cuz we're not working from 9 to 5 we work 24/7 we manage our home, we manage our husband's schedule, socially, our children's activities, grandchildren if we have them, and everything else. Do we, then we have to manage the people who come and help us clean and cook and, and all those things. So anyway, I just thought I would share that with you, that um, I met someone... <laughs> Who didn't ask me what I do for a living. She asked me what I did for fun. And I was able to tell her that I competed in beauty pageants. And I am a library trustee. I serve on several boards in my community. But my priority is managing my home as a housewife. And she told me that what she was currently doing was taking baking classes baking cakes and cookies and all of the sweet, yummy things we like to eat. Okay, my friends, that is it for now. I'm not going to keep you. The boys are home from school and it's time to cook dinner. And um, I've got to go. Don't forget, um, if you are not already subscribe to our youtube channel i encourage you to do so because we are very active there hubby and i were live uh, a couple of days ago we are live once a week on youtube so follow us there the name of the channel is the real mentor cynthia also ladies um i encourage you to add one of my lipsticks from my beauty queen collection to your makeup bag you have to experience the quality and the opulence. Uh, trust me, I, I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're going to love it. They are highly pigmented, hydrated, luxurious, all of the above. Okay? So that's it for now. I am going to sign off and um, just be mindful when you meet someone. Um, be mindful of how you decide to initiate a conversation with them. Okay? Have a wonderful day and a successful week. Bye.